Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off your hot and cold water supplies. In this video we're going to show you how to change out the Whirlpool washer water inlet hose with water nozzle. It's going to be a very easy repair and it's only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at ApplianceFartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new water inlet hose with water nozzle. The water inlet hose with water nozzle is what supplies water to the washer tub. The main reason to be changing it out is if it's cracked, damaged, or leaking and you're getting water on the floor. In order to get to the part, we have to open up the top of the machine. So the first thing we're going to do is put a piece of tape on the lid so when we lift it up, it doesn't open up. Make sure you use a good piece of tape so the lid doesn't spring up when you lift up the top. Now that we have the lid taped down, we have to release the locks that hold the top to the cabinet. They're located about six inches in from each corner. We're going to slide the putty knife in and you'll feel it spring against the lock. Once you have the lock pushed in, you can twist the putty knife to release it and you have to lift up on the top and separate it. You got to be careful so it doesn't snap back down. Once you have one side up, we can come do the other side. Once you have them both released, you can carefully lift the top up. Once you have the top up all the way, we're going to support it with a lanyard. These hinges aren't very strong and you don't want to use those to try to support the whole top assembly. So we're going to use a lanyard and just hook it into the top and then onto the cabinet. Now we're over on the left side of the machine. We're going to take the clamp off the water inlet hose. All you have to do is grab it with the pliers and compress it and slide it up the hose. Once you have the clamp slid up the water line, we can pull it off the water valve. Once you have it disconnected, then we can use a quarter inch nut driver to remove the screw that holds in the water nozzle. Once you have the screw removed, you can remove the water inlet hose with the water nozzle. Here's the old water inlet hose with water nozzle next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. Looks like they changed the style of the mounting bracket on the nozzle, but it should go in there and work just fine. We're going to put the water nozzle on first, so we're just going to line it up and use the quarter inch nut driver to put the screw in to hold it in place. Once you have that screw tightened down, we can reconnect the water inlet hose to the water valve. You're just going to have to bend it over and press it onto the water inlet valve fitting. Once you have it bottomed out, we can use our pliers to compress the clamp and move it down so we get a good seal. Once you have the part installed, we can put the washer top back down on the washer. To put the top back down, we have to take the lanyard off first. We're going to lift up on the top a little bit to take the tension off. Then we can unhook the lanyard on the top and the bottom. Then we can carefully lower the top down. As you lower it down, you want to make sure that these holes right here line up on the bolts as you lower it down. Once you have the top down and the holes lined up with the bolts, you can push it down to lock it in place. Once you have the top down and secure, we can take the tape off the lid, plug the washer back in, turn the water back on, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.